Everybody likes sleepers. It's like the greatest topic in fantasy football. So let's talk about a couple. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake, Fantasy Headliners, coming at you today with some sleepers here for the 2018 football season. Uh, everybody likes sleepers. This is like the number one search thing for fantasy football. Everybody wants to know who the sleepers are. So that's what we're going to do. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, five guys that are currently ranked outside the top 20, except for tight end, because there's really not even 20 tight ends worth talking about. But they're not any of the top players at their position uh, that have the potential to be top 10 talents. Uh, and we're going to get it going here right away. I'd like to keep it going quick for you guys, not trying to uh, take up all your time. Uh, so we're going to head into the quarterback position. And my quarterback sleeper for the year is going to be Case Keenum in Denver. Now look what Case Keenum did last year in Minnesota, and it's going to be a little similar here in Denver. Only difference is Denver doesn't really have a running game right now. So they're going to be throwing a lot. And Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders haven't been utilized for years with the likes of Brock Osweiler and Trevor Simeon and Paxton Lynch. Case Keenum is a huge upgrade from those guys. And we know as of right now that John Elway wants to throw the ball. Uh, They went after Case Keenum. They got him. There's no guarantee that they don't take a quarterback in the draft, but Case Keenum is more than likely going to be the starter week one. And he's got a lot of potential. Like I said, with Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, it's kind of similar to what he had with Diggs and Thielen. Uh, He's going to like to throw the ball, and he's going to like to throw the ball a lot. And with no running game and a defense that isn't what it was a few years ago, they're going to have to throw the ball. And right now, Case Keenum is ranked quarterback 25. Going undrafted in a lot of leagues, somebody you can get last round and get yourself a top 10 quarterback. This one may uh, irritate a few of you out there. Some of you got burned by these next two guys I'm going to talk about, but the first one's going to be Lamar Miller. That's right, Lamar Miller. And can I really call him a sleeper, you say? Well, today I can because he's ranked 22nd. 22nd running back. He finished last year as number 14. Didn't have a great year, but Watson wasn't gone. The defense was depleted. They were constantly trailing in games, having to throw a bunch. This year is going to be different. That defense is going to be scary in Houston. They should have a lead in the second half more often than not, and they'll be pounding the rock. Lamar Miller is going to be reaping the benefits. Now, Donta Foreman is there. But it doesn't sound like Miller's in any danger of losing his complete job yet. So, as of today, Lamar Miller playing with Deshaun Watson with that defense, that sleeper potential when he's ranked at 22nd. This guy is somebody else who burned a ton of people last year, myself included. I sat on this channel right here and pumped my fist because I was all aboard the J train. And then that happened last year. And I don't see it happening quite the same way this year. Now that Blunt is gone in Philadelphia, Philadelphia? He's gone in Philly or Philadelphia, whichever you prefer. But he's gone. And right now, Ajay is ranked 19th. So he's fringe 20. It depends. He's wherever you look at the rankings, he's 19 to 21. But there's no LeGarrette Blunt there now. They do have Corey Clement. And I can't do a video without mentioning Wendell Smallwood, just because of his name. But Ajayi seems to be the clear-cut number one running back on the Super Bowl champion team, full of weapons. And we don't even know the exact status of Carson Wentz yet. Now, of course, Foles is still there. But Ajayi looked good when he got carries last year. He just didn't get a whole lot because Blunt was in town. If it's the Jay Ajayi show... And he can get you 15 to 20 carries a game. He will well outproduce that running back 19 tag that he has right now. I swear I'm not a Houston Texans diehard fan, but I'm going to talk about another one. Right now we're going to wide receiver and we're talking about Will Fuller. That's right, Will Fuller right now is ranked wide receiver 41. This dude had like seven touchdowns in four games with Deshaun Watson last year. Multiple games with multiple touchdowns. It's somebody that Watson was looking for, and here's why. All the attention's being paid to DeAndre Hopkins. Everybody's going that way, and deservedly so, because Hopkins is a stud. 
But who who reaps the benefits? It's Will Fuller. And right now at wide receiver 41 with a healthy Watson coming back, I'm all aboard the sleeper train for Will Fuller. Let's go to tight end. Let's talk about George Kittle out there in San Francisco. Now, you guys know I'm a huge Jimmy G fan, and George Kittle could get a huge bump this year. They didn't sign any big names in free agency. They got Garcon and Goodwin still. They got McKinnon in the backfield. But other than that, George Kittle's the next best option. And he's a decent option. Big body, red zone threat, can stretch the field also. It's going to be a favorite target of Jimmy G across the middle of the field, and he should get plenty and plenty of opportunity. George Kittle's somebody that you can get in the next to last round probably, and you could end up with a stud tight end on your hands. It's Jimmy G. He just makes everybody better. All right, guys, those are a few of my early 2018 preseason uh, sleepers. If I didn't cover somebody that you want to know about, hit me up down below. Put their name down in the comment section. I'll let you know what I got on them and uh, let you know what I think is going to happen this year. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Looking forward to those comments down below, and uh, we'll be talking to you later. Thanks.